Can I get pay here and welcome to Swangan. I'm your host, Dennis Allen. Frank Umok of Taktiaktak grew up speaking Inivalkton. His parents were Reverend Thomas and Susie Umok. Frank's generation is part of the last group of fluent speakers. Even though he's been to residential school, Inivalkton is still his first language. He's worried about that though, because we're losing the language fast. So he's doing his part by teaching Inivalkton at the Taktiaktak Learning Center. We caught up with Frank as he was starting his next lesson. Welcome to Swang on Our Strength right here on APTN. <laughs> Mm. Because it In the to it. Okay. We we'll block February 20th. Eh? Yes, it yeah. is. You got your thing now. We'll block up. We should housing it in the Wellington. Family of words. They all got the same meaning, but a different in different words, okay? When I was a growing up child, I was adopted to Thomas and Susie Umak. Uh, my adopted parents spoke fluently straight in the Wellington. That's where I was brought up from. Uh, everyday language uh, in the Wellington was my first language, and today it's still my first language. And uh, as I was a kid growing up, uh, even though after they passed on, I went to uh, Stringer Hall in a week for three years, but I still had my language in with me that I never lost. Like it was tattooed in my mind at all times. Now we pronounce this. Kanuk, Umba, Aulak. Aula. Sima. Sima. Teo. Teo. Una. Una. Aula Sima Tilunga. Aula Sima Tilunga. Aula Sima Tilunga. These are just famous short sentences because you're talking to uh, Mr. Jones. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jones is going to ask you what you're doing today and you answer. Now English meaning. What's the English meaning for our Lakshim I'm going to go. Go, you could use the word go, but the proper way to explain this English is our Lakshim It goes. Mm. While I was still going. While I was still gone. Gone. I was still gone. Meaning, while I was still gone. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that's the that's the whole meaning of the word gone. In uh, words that we put into sentences, that's what we learning instead of symbol. So it's teaching and you how to like actually have a saying conversation. A yes, conversation yeah. with mm -hmm. people that yeah. we meet on the street or at school. Yeah, and I never was proud of with any Valkyrie, so. This is my chance to learn how to learn and speak in Vatican, so I'm glad I'm here taking this class. Same with us. Yeah. You, Victoria? 
The same thing, just conversations and just about everyday stuff. You, um, you, did you know, did you know any, any about them before? Um, a couple of words. Never really grew up with it. So this is, you find this is helping you? Yeah, it is. We, we um, your stories and that from our elders, but we don't know what, what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So we're picking it up from here. So we learn how to speak and understand what they're speaking about in their stories. Aula, Aula. Madil. Lunga. 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 Good. Okay, Imanda. <clears throat> While I was away, I'll allow my dear Lunga. While I was away, you got gone for Aulau Matidilunga? Okay. Now you got gone, away? Okay. How we say gone? Aulau Aulaksi Matidilunga. And Aulau Matilunga. Okay, now this sweet little bottom one here is very sweet. Okay, I'm gonna come down a little more. Okay. Aulak. Aulak. Klunga. Klunga. Aulak. Klunga. Aulak. Klunga. It mellows down from gone and away, but all in the same the same meaning. Aulaklunga. Mm -hmm. Meaning English. I went. I went. I went. See? See how uh Sometimes your yeah, inability in your words could be a little bit tricky. You got to use your tongue. It's the tip of your tongue. In the word in your words, Ilani. They could be very tongue twisters. Because mm -hmm. the words they pronounce very closely. Yeah. Okay. Meaning gone. gone. Okay. Aulau Matidlunga. While I was away. While I was away. Okay. Aulaksunga. Aulaksunga. I went. Went. You see how different differences in your inverted words. The first word means gone. Your center word means away, mm -hmm. and your last little word means went. Swang on our strength will be right back with more of Speaking Siglikton with Mr. Frank Umauk of Takti Ektak, right here on APTN. <laughs> Welcome back to Swangan, Our Strength, and more of Speaking Siglikton with Frank Umauk of Takti Aktak, right here on APTN. After I finished uh, my schooling, I started working for the government uh, with Charles uh, Grubin, they call him Angun, helping him out with the language. And also, after I was done from, I worked with him for a couple of years, 
language, help him out. And uh, <clears throat> after a few years' time, I started doing, working on my language on my own. On my own meaning how to spell the words. And from there, I start uh, transcribing from Inuvialuktun in to English and back to Inuvialuktun. In and today, I still got more to learn, but I'm still working on my language. As I teach at the learning center, a college learning center, I also, by teaching, I also upgrade myself in my Inuvialuktun words by keeping my pronunciation of words and also <clears throat> speaking my Inuvialuktun words in word order. Like a little kid started to learn how to talk. And today I teach uh, the language, how to spell it, how to pronounce it. And I also uh, teach at the youth center for the youth and also for the public. Same as what I'm teaching here today at the uh, learning center. My mom and dad, uh, they talk in a, uh, in a, in Inuvialuktun. <coughs> and uh, I always hear them talk in a, a Eskimo, and uh, I learn from them. She's a really good speaker. Yeah. Mm. So you, you help these girls out when they have trouble? Yeah, I help them. She's our dictionary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I help them out. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to write down the three very important words that everyone should recognize these three words there. Okay, these three words, it means us. Meaning us is when we're growing up from a sibling to an adult. Now every word like Bitkosek, Ijusek, and Inusek is all one individual. Okay. We start off with uh, inusik, the bottom, it means an individual's lifestyle, okay? Because every person, every person has their own lifestyle, how to go about the living everyday life. So that person becomes a teenager, from a teenager to an adult. <clears throat> now, you gotta watch this. For Ijusek, it's the individuals. It means It means a person's habit, okay? From the habit, it's, anybody could have all different ways of uh, habits. A guy could be brought up mean, going in and out of, uh, breaking the law steady, stuff like that, or a guy could be hunting all his life. That's a person's habit. He's got to do it all the time. You know? Okay. And later on, it becomes, it just like becomes a person's bitkosek. Okay. It becomes a person's Okay.
or uh, it becomes the way a person lives. He's going to live that way all his life. Now, not very much. I never, <clears throat> as I was teaching in Inverter and Irish class, uh, classes, I never heard of any Inverter instructor come up with these three words, even though I go listen to Inverter classes. But in a way, that's got to be taught to your Inverter language yeah. students. You bring them up from a sibling, bring them right back up to adulthood. That's where Bethkosek, Ijusek, and New Inusek comes in. Your lifestyle, your habit, and the way of living. That's the whole individual itself. <laughs> That was Frank Umok of Taktiaktak teaching Siglikton at the Taktiaktak Learning Center. Thanks for your time, Frank. And now we're going to have a short history lesson on Taktiaktak with two longtime residents, Rosemary Lundergan and Elsie Natal. Tak has been expanding lately with the addition of Reindeer Point. It was in the early, early. 80s. In the early 80s? Early 80s. That it was built when, what, during the time Canmar was here? That's when the, um, the uh, Reindeer Point was built. Because of the shoreline keep uh, eroding way more each year. So we need to find higher ground to hopefully move one day the whole town up. Because we do have more High winds because of our unpredictable weather these days, and we could just wash away the whole town. So we got to think of moving somewhere. And that old graveyard too is going to go underwater unless they do something or move another new one, make a new one. There was quite a bit of uh, beach around that way, because uh, on the point, there was two points, or there was a point pointing out that direction, like sh uh, shallow where you can walk up to your waist, and that died out. It sunk, I guess, and then there was a lot of beach just down the graveyard for the old school used to be. There was a lot of beach down that way. Now there's no more pretty well all eroded out, because we used to play it along the beaches. Yeah. During the and fall, people used to summer. have their summer tents there yeah. too. Yeah, and sometimes they have tents all along there and at the point where people would make their dry fish because it's too hot in the houses. And every summer they'd make uh, dry fish down that end. They used to be, what, five, six tents anyway, all together right, right down to the point sometimes. There's eroding all along the beachway facing the uh, ocean side. A lot of it is corroding out. But I know I used to cross, we used to have our house way across near the Water Creek where old Margaret Day used to have a boat there. Not far from Water Creek, we used to have our house there and I used to walk to school to the point over here where that those mud houses are. I used to go across uh, the, you know, they call the, this big island. What'd you call it? It's an island in front of us here. I just go over the ports year round for school. And how many times get chased by wolves in the dark? And still go to school them days. As we had, we never used, I never used dog teams. I just run to school them those days. But then um, we use our dogs for hunting and fishing mainly. 
And that is just at the time when I started school, the reindeer herders came and they were just in our backyard. And uh, there was a, quite a few of them around pitch tents. They make a tent and they put snow blocks of snow around it. In that area where we were, uh, right across Water Creek, I remember there were uh, there was uh, Samuel Green and his family, uh, Guy Malawitok and his family, and uh, Peter Rufus and them, and Bob Banakdak, and who else? Adam Mahuk, uh, Jimmy Kumiak. All those, as I could remember, just starting going to school, and we used to use, uh, we used to run home after school, just to drive around with the reindeer. They were pulling sleds just for something to do, because uh, we had no meat those days. And then when the reindeer came, everybody was happy because there was meat to eat. For at before that, there was no meat. It was just mainly fish and geese and ptarmigan. And Odd people would get the moose, but not very many. So we were glad when the reindeer came. Where I live, there used to be a, a herd of reindeer traveling. And I have a picture of it. In the, the hills, are where their houses here now? The hills, where bear picking areas? They're yeah. All, all. all around here. But now that uh, the uh, there's so much dust of man-made uh, roads, all that dust will cover all the berries and they're not as good as when we used to, you know, just walk out and pick them up. Now you got to go quite a ways away from here because of all the dirt and dust and everything flying, it's cleaner to get berries out of town. Since the introduction of gravel roads, remember the Dewline built the first gravel road? Yeah, and, and there was a great the big sign there, and I have a picture of it. It says, Beware Eskimo Crossing. They take out billions, and they, I think they should think about hmm. long-term benefits for the people here. Yeah. Creating jobs, like maybe a swimming instructor for a year on swimming pool. Yeah, that Heard would be nice. Too. If we get a really good swimming pool one day. Do you think, uh, do you think um, the... Um, um, some of the profits from the pipeline that are coming out should come back to the community to build things like a swimming pool? I think so. That would be nice. Because they're taking out, well, they're making billions out of our resources, and it's only fair yeah. that they should leave us something. Like a nice heritage center in, in respect for our ancestors and carry their message. Or a new building for, you know, for like, a new for college. central. Like this building, we should have a new building, and maybe that building too should be with us. Like maybe three, four story high building, one big place, where we won't run into too much problems like freezing up pipes and all that all the time, or running out of internet when it's on for a little while and something goes wrong, or you know, these things happen and it takes forever to, to get back into. I think we need a I'd say a really nice, big, fancy building. Well, that was our show for this week. We hope you enjoyed it. Tune in again next week for more of Swang and Our Strength right here on APTN. Until then, I'm your host, Dennis Allen. Kuyinakpak. For copies of this program or any other program of Swangan, contact the Inuvialuit Communication Society at Post Office Box 1704, Inuvik NT, X0E, 0T0, or call 867-777-2320, fax your requests to 867-777-2744, or email us at swangan at northwesthell.net.